Welcome back to the farm, guys. Just getting some last minute spring done on the fields. Midsummer. I also noticed, if you look at the time up there, it's set to four. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I didn't set that. I'm going to roll with it right now, though, because I still have some work to get done here, but eventually I will be uh, increasing that time here to... Uh, to get things moving a little faster so I'm not stuck on one day and I don't have to spend hours getting, you know, things done. What game speed do you guys play at? Do you keep it at 1? Do you bump it to 5? Do you like the faster 15? I've noticed with seasons, time does seem to be a little off. I think I've mentioned that before, where I used to play at game speed 5, and then once I added seasons in, it did seem like game speed 5 was a little slower. And I think I had mentioned before, I would love to have seen a game speed 10, because that's... 15, I think, is just a little too fast. Um, I think 10 would have been pretty much just perfect. on this one and I think I have two fields one field I forget how many fields I completely planted I think I did seven and eight if I remember right so I need to go and fertilize those I also plan on checking out uh, black cap bird seed factories are doing well time really hasn't progressed since the last video so nothing really should have changed stone processing we're doing good there uh, National Gypsum, don't own it, so don't care. User Glue, start production there. Uh, what else we got here? Furniture Factory, need to get lumber over there. But I don't have any cut down, so... PJs, still need to get sand and gravel, didn't do that off camera. Not gonna bore you guys with it right now. It's not a dire thing, because I still have over 200,000 sitting there, so we're good. Uh, that's not built yet. I think I need to get the truck over there though so I can uh, get the gold. I'm sure construction has stopped and so we'll check out that situation here in a moment. And Crystal Steel is doing just fine. Now the guys have been busting me pretty hard because, I mean, they're having fun. Um, those of you who uh, watch this and also join us over on Twitch for the live streams for FarmSim, they've been uh, busting me pretty good, and it's all in good fun. But uh, you know, because I'm not keeping it real over there. You know, the realism isn't there over there. Like I'm trying to incorporate over here with uh, the equipment and trailers and so on. And uh, you know, the downside is is the group of guys I play with they're not really interested in that you know they're not I mean yeah they're not gonna go and you know want to have something that has that million capacity you know they're not gonna do that uh, but they're of the same mindset that I am uh, you know it, it's okay to bend the rules a little bit if it means we're going to get things done just that much faster so you know, although we're not going to be half million liter capacity on a trailer, the BSM 70,000, yeah, we can live with that. They're probably not going to like it too much if I take that out and put in, uh, you know, something that's only 48,000 or 50,000 liter capacity. They're probably not going to be too happy about that, especially if you can't hook them up and train them. You know, they love that BSM because they can haul 70,000 and also hook them up to a second second trailer. Bowtie on the server has been doing that quite a bit. Uh, pulling stuff out of the quarry uh, or when they're doing... In fact, I don't think the Oshkosh that he has, the Oshkosh truck, is hooked up to anything else. It stays hooked up to the BSM trailers and that is it. 
and uh, he's been using it for everything. So when they're harvesting sugarcane, uh, it's it's they're doing that. Um, you know, he's getting stuff from the quarry when it decides to work. He's doing that. So, you know, he's he's using it for everything. And you know, I'll, I'll, I'm fine. I'll, I'll I can live with that. You know, it's a fine line that I have to play here when it comes to uh, playing, you know, it, 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 the, for the fan base, you know. Obviously, I do want to play a little bit in a way to cater to you guys, to keep your interest, to, you know, keep you guys coming back for more. And clearly, obviously, I mean, it doesn't, it's not very difficult to understand the fact that you know if I was zooming around here doing 120 miles an hour over fields and whatnot uh, a lot of you probably wouldn't be watching but there's a very good chance that I would have a completely different fan base for that too because there are those people out there that want to play that way you know they they want to get a field done in one minute you know they 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 don't care about any of that stuff and uh, I mean, hell, there might be still some of you right now who are watching or watch me over on Twitch, uh, and you play that way too. You know, I don't get dogged out because I don't do that because I think the vast majority of people, you know, are fine with something like this, 12 miles an hour through a field with this road gator. And uh, I do like this thing. I'm really starting to fall in love with this thing. I really am. But, uh, yeah, rest assured that's not going to happen. But what I'm, what I'm getting at is, is, yeah, if I wanted to cater to someone else's playing style, I could. I won't, but I could. Uh, what you, I'm, the way I play here, guys, trust me, it's the way I play. I'm not doing this to cater to anyone to garner more views, more fan base, whatever. I do this this way because I enjoy it. The realism part, I've been fighting with myself here a little bit. I'm not going to go all crazy on it, but, uh, you know, the auto load is the main thing. The auto load, logging trailers, that saves time. That's really all it's there for. I'm not going to be getting, uh, I probably will get rid of the BSM trailer. I might keep it for quarry work, but uh, I think for uh, everyday farm use, I think I'm going to end up getting rid of that. And I did forget to te check out the Wilson grain trailer that uh, someone had mentioned in a par in a co in a comments not too long ago. I did see it on a mod site, and they said it was on the mod hub, but I forgot to go and look for it, so uh, I will try to make a mental note, which most likely I will forget, but I will try to make a mental note to check out that Wilson Grain trailer and uh, see if I want to get it in here. There are a couple out there on mod sites, but the problems I've had with them are really, are they're, they're pretty much the same as the Big Daddy flatbed trailer. Where it, where that is, um, hold on a second, I just, shiny thing moment here, because I just realized, wait a minute, one of these fields I think is regrowing. Cultivated, harvested, harvested, everything should be purple, but 19 and 24 are not. Why? I know one was lavender, one's cotton, and I think cotton regrows. But it's not showing up here. It's not showing up at all. Well, that's... Uh, never mind. I wonder if I should drive down there and just check them out. 17 as well. Because nothing else should be regrowing, so all right, I'm gonna check out those three fields. So yeah, the the grain trailers that I have seen in the past, 
are really no different than the Big Daddy flatbed, where there's no rear suspension and they slide all over the place. You know, it was so easy. The jackknife, the fishtail, the Wilson grain trailer I used to have over on uh, Farm Sim 15. Uh, it was just insane. And, you know, that's why I'm kind of going towards the Flygel flatbed here. I mean, Big Daddy's is nice, but I, uh, yeah, I, I really don't like that bouncing around because it's got no rear suspension kind of thing. And so I'll, I'll take a look at the Wilson. But in my past experience, they haven't uh, they haven't been all that great. Yep, we're growing. Okay, gotta fertilize it. Might as well. Let's start up a new one. We're just perfect. And it looks like that's growing over there as well. Yep. That's lavender. I'm not really interested in cotton, but you know what? I'll, I'll do it. It just sucks that I'm going to have to bring down the harvester from the Johnson farm in order to harvest it. Unless I leave something over here. Unless I purchase something and leave it over here at the right farm. I don't rule it out. I do have to get my apologies in though guys, I will probably repeat this later on in the video, but my apologies because I don't think I'm going to get the normal three videos out to you guys like I want. I thought I had three videos for last week and I only had two, so that was my mistake on that one. I do try to get three out to you guys, but this week I really don't think it's going to happen, mainly because I'm scratching an itch right now. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, playing Minecraft. So, started playing Minecraft, fired up a server, Mr. Moose, and a handful of other guys, Bowtie, Mobius, EVR, Millennium, were all over there playing. And, uh, yeah, I streamed it Friday, I streamed it Saturday. Uh, I'm gonna try not to stream it on Sunday. That's, you know, today I'm recording this. Um,. But, you know, it's really eating into my time to do other things. So, for example, the fleet skin for ATS, the video I just put up on Sunday, I recorded and rendered just a couple hours before. So, I mean, that is fresh as fresh can be. Um, so, uh, doing that with farm sim is difficult. Uh, it hour-long video um, you know not a whole lot of editing you know I've, I've heard of other people will edit out stuff left and right I don't like doing that I might as well show you guys all the work because I know what, what I'll do is I'll start doing something and then stop playing on editing and then get back to it and you know I'll get wrapped up in other things and before I know it I'm doing stuff off camera and uh, you know I don't like doing that I try to do as much as I can on camera for you guys unless I know it's going to be some tedious boring thing so for like example getting uh, sand and gravel for PJs that's just yeah I'm probably gonna do that all off camera because you know it's gonna be boring me loading up gravel or whatever, uh, over and over and over and over again. Alright, that is going to be it for the fields. I'm not going to do any more. I probably could set up an operation here at the right farm. I probably could do that. Maybe we'll work on that here coming up.
maybe I can set that up as a root crop farm or something like that. But then again, I don't know about that because the equipment needed to go ahead and harvest those is not going to be really good for the space that I have on those fields. So that's going to be a little annoying, a little bit of a pain in the ass. I just wanted to drive over it. <laughs> I should take down the Christmas tree. That thing's probably turning brown. It's so dry. It's dry as a popcorn fart. Alright. Oh, turn you off. There we go. All done here. And time to move on. Be right back. Alright guys, welcome back. And so here we are over at Black Cat Birdseed. Construction is at a halt. We got a quarter of the place done. As you can see, gold is at 100% gold full on the info. So now I need to find where this truck is. And unfortunately, it's not something that shows up on the map. I know I have one because I use it to build PJs, but have I moved it since? Where are you? Nope, it's not going to show up. Alright, let's check out PJs. Is it still over here? Nope. Alright. Uh, is it up by Crystal Steel? I think this was the last place I built. It is annoying that this truck doesn't show up. Nope. All right, let me make sure I still have one. I should. Where are they? Here they are. 66. Yep, there's one right there. I need to slow you down. That was one hell of a catch. Okay, so he's not there. How about the bank? There it is. I don't know why this thing doesn't show up on the map. Alright, time to race on down there. Fishtail on the corner of that one. Holy crap. I had to give it a little flick of the other side of the wheel. I have a love hate relationship with this truck, I'll be honest. I mean, I love how floaty and bouncy it is. Because I like, alright, I will take the realism aspect out and throw it off to the side, and I will take this thing and go launch it. It's just fun to watch it go flying through the air. But, uh, other than that, it's too damn loud in my opinion. It's too damn loud. But 
but I believe this is the only item, this is the only vehicle that you can use to pick up gold from the factories. So you're stuck using it. No trigger shows up, so shut you off. Everything disappeared, but it's going to get back to work now, and that is it. Info will read. All right, reset. Come on. Info, come on. Gold is at zero. Let's go. Gold is not full. It takes a minute. It'll eventually clear itself out. Time to move on. What do I have full of boards? This guy? Okay. This place is not working. Why? Out of coal? Out of coal. Alright. Now someone also left in the comments that this thing with dual front tires is not going to work on this, and they are right. I did realize that. I did not really forget about that. Uh, if it sounded like I did, I didn't. I Trust me. But uh, I know I also talked about getting a wood chipper over there uh, where it's set up over the, you know, it, in the last video. I had, did not do that. I will do that eventually. Um, and so I can stop using this. That way I can just pull that trailer right up. Um, I haven't quite figured out what setup I'm going to use. If I'm going to get a, uh, a tractor that has a crane on it or some other kind of crane setup so I can just drop everything off here. I haven't figured that out yet, but there will be a new wood chipping setup soon coming to this area over here. What else do we have? No, wait a minute. Peterbilt 388, full of boards, but he's not hooked up. No, that's not him. Oh, he's down there, okay. He's full of boards down here. But I think for the most part, I have most everything I needed to get done done. I mean, I could uh, just continue to supply certain areas, certain things with more product. Just to kind of get ahead of things. But I think for the most part, yeah, everything... Everything's caught up and done and ready to go. See, he's speeding again. Why the hell does he speed up? Alright, how are we doing on boards in the warehouse? Can I just sell these off? Uh, 180,000 boards. Yep, I can just sell them off. I got plenty for now. Let's make some money. Also, I'm going to take a look at coal. Do I have any coal over here? 60,000 in coal. And stone processing silo has 180,000. Alright, so let me jump out while he offloads. And just in time, caught him perfectly. 149,000 off of that load of lumber. 
I'm going to grab a load of coal out of here and then run that up to the elevator. I also should, while I'm here, maybe take a look at... Game save. Alright. Coal. So, what was Cogent needing? Or PJs, I'm sorry. Sand and gravel. Neither one of them that are here. Gypsum. Do have a load of gravel there. Nothing in the sand department, so... Yeah, never put in for that one. Could've, but never did. What should I be building next, guys? What do you think? Black cap birdseed is the easiest one to start. Because it's the easiest one to get the crops for. A lot of other things use more specific type crops. So what what should be next? Sugar refinery, maybe? That means I gotta move over and start doing sugar cane. You know, keep in mind, I don't have anything for that. I don't have anything for root crops. So, what should I move into next? What factory should I look at? Lots of choices. I really can't decide. You know, it's one of those coin flip things, you know? Alright, so let's take a look. What factories do we have? There's the sugar refinery. Could build that one. Shmirnov is already built, don't have to worry about that. Here's Pepsi, that can be built. Heartland Bread is another one that can be built. Del Monte is already up, Hops and Prompts is already up. Furniture Factory. Campbell's is already up, FM Textile is not built. Kellogg's, Ken's, Dole, Heinz, those can all be built. Frito Lay is not built. Kellogg's, Shell's already built. Soy milk is not. Planters is built. The grain mill's already built. So, I mean, half of these are already built. A lot of them are not. It's a, a, I'm kind of leaning towards Heartland Bread. You know, it's not something that's going to take a lot to get into. Let's take a look at Heartland Bread here. Coal, wheat flour, oat flour, rye flour, water, and, a, and pallets. So the pallets are going to be easy to make. The wheat flour and everything, that's going to come from the grain mill. This right here, which I do not own. So that is going to be kind of annoying unless I buy the grain mill. Building Heartland Bread really isn't going to work out too well. Because I mean, you can see they're they're buying it, you know, six six seventy four for wheat, and they're selling wheat flour for two grand. That's <laughs> I'm losing money like crazy on that one. That's gonna be nuts. I really have yeah, Pepsi is gonna need a sugar refinery. FM Textile, I don't know what that, what is that? 
probably where is it where is it I can't really there it is cotton hemp and wool I can supply the cotton and the hemp that's no big deal I don't know if I have to supply wool or not is this something I have to do hmm and then the textiles sell pretty good. So that's an option. Board and dairy, that means I gotta get cows going. Sam Adams is already built. There's Kellogg's, Ken's, and Heinz. What happened to my cursor? My cursor disappeared. I mean, God, I hate it when that happens. And Dole all the way over there. Heinz is going to be tomatoes. Ken's, I think, is going to want steak. Kellogg's is an option. Let's take a quick look at Kellogg's. What is that going to want? Coal, wheat, rice, corn, sugar, you know, and pallets. The thing is, I don't know if a sugar is going to have to be for everything, but I could definitely go ahead and do Kellogg's. I could do that one. We'll see. Let me know, guys. What what factory do you want me to focus on building next? What do you what do you think is a good good course of action to go? Where are we at here? Fifty seven percent growth on these. But everything is fertilized. I'm going to have to go over 7, 8, and 9 one more time. But everything else is good to go. Awesome. Beautiful. So you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up right here. And maybe try to knock out one more video. So I can have two farm sims for you guys this week. And try to keep you guys somewhat happy and <laughs> content and staying around so i'll figure out what i can do next and uh we'll go from there so until next time thank you all for watching hopefully you enjoyed make sure you check down below for all of the links to the mods list that i am always using here it's not fully up to date with everything i have but it's close enough till next time take it easy